Hello, uh, we're at a, an event called the Damien's Hall Aerodrome Wings and Wheels Car Show, Fair, you name it, they've got it all here, um, in Upminster in Essex, and it's July 2017. Um, just a real short video of a car that's parked near where we are, um, that I've actually really got... Um, quite an interest in. It's a lovely Morgan three-wheeler, 1937. Now these cars were aimed at people who perhaps they had a motorcycle uh, license but could drive one of these on a motorcycle license because it was um, under, I think it was 800 pounds, 800 weight, sorry, get it right in old money. Um, they were fitted with reverse gear, but you had to disable reverse gear to be able to drive it on a bike license. So as soon as you passed your car test, you could then re-enable reverse gear, but to be honest, as you can imagine, most people use the reverse gear, even though they only had a bike license. But just coming round to the front, it's got a Jap engine, which was a motorcycle engine. Jap standing for J.A. Prestwich, who were um, an engine manufacturer in Tottenham, North London. So as you can see, it's a fairly basic frame, not that really that much bigger than a couple of lengths of gas pipe all the way down it. But um, it's a water-cooled engine as well. So, just having a, a little look around it now. All very basic, but actually looks real tremendous fun to drive. Um, obviously a two-seater. You've got a loop on the seat there that you pull forward, so you've got a little bit of luggage space inside. As you can see, very compact, but of course what you've got to remember is in the 30s people were a lot smaller. So um, they'd get in here quite comfortably. There's your various different controls on the steering wheel. So you'd have um, hand throttle, advanced retard to help you start in, and an air slide. So, just coming back, luggage rack on the back there, spare wheel, and a single wheel on the back, and obviously two on the front, and we've got Millie the dog in the video as well. So, as you can see, it's got a couple of modifications the, the gentleman who owns it has made, just to make it a bit more user friendly for our roads. Um, one of which is fitting indicators to it because this wouldn't have had indicators at all you'd have had to use hand signals but of course these days hand signals are not even taught when when people learn to drive so they wouldn't know what you were doing if you were driving along with your hand waving around out the side as you can see fairly basic sort of drum brakes on the front although they look a reasonable size big old v-twin 1100cc that engine as you can imagine it's got a reasonable turn of speed. The, going back to the inside again, the throttle would have been used, operated on the steering wheel, because as you can see down inside all it's got is two pedals, so all you had was a brake and a clutch on the floor, and you revved it up um, using the controls on the steering wheel. The switch gear on the column there has been fitted from another vehicle just to enable the indicators to be used. It's got what a nice, lovely design split screen there. Almost like an aero screen, but it sort of goes across as one piece. Basic AML um, motorcycle carb. But all in all, just a lovely old thing. Very, very interesting. I would think that's great fun to drive. Perhaps I'll get a chance one day. Anyway, thank you for looking at this short video. Bye for now.